guys, not to Ace here. And if you've been following Nintendo on May 7th, they finally released some, and you know, quotation, some information about the Nintendo Switch Online. So for people who still unaware of what's going on with Nintendo currently, is that if you're a Switch owner, if you want to play online, starting on September 2018, it's going to be a paid online. How much it is? Well, surprisingly, they kind of showed it. It's not really that expensive, but I kind of said it before on my Switch Online vlog. is you, you get for what you paid for. So, with that said, they finally released some information, and a lot of people already did it, so I'm going to just give my thoughts about it. So basically, but if you want to hear others, say, hey, a lot of people were talking about this, so I might as well talk about it. I know I'm jumping the bandwagon, but like I said, it is part of the pre-E3 2018. A lot of this thing, a lot of this thing, might they might talk about it more in the future. Maybe E3, even past E3. So with that, let's get started. First of all, online play. Again, in, in order to play online starting September 2018, you need to have the subscription. PlayStation 4 you have to do it plus. Xbox has been doing it since the 360. And I said it before and I said it again. Yes, it sucks that you have to pay their service. But you also have to understand, server online costs money. And it kind of shows what happened when you play for free or when, you do, when they do free online. That's what I'm trying to say. Yeah, play for free or basically offering free online. The quality is not there. A lot, a lot of hardcore online people, they kind of see what it is. So, you know, you can't really do anything about it. It is what it is. So, another thing is, save data cloud backup. So, finally, you can now do it on the Switch. Yeah, it's one of the biggest problems on the Switch. Is, hey, heck, even on the Wii, and in the Wii U is, you can't transfer your data from one source to another. And they don't offer cloud saving, especially on the Switch. A controversy what happened to Brian Altano from IGN. He had to uh, bring his Switch to the company, to Nintendo, to fix what the problem is. So they did fix the problem, but the downside was they had to do a factory setting. So when he turned on the system, hey, where's my save? And they said, yeah, we unfortunately unable to save your data because in one of the policy, and this is what the sort of a policy is going to be, yes, but it is it's a policy as of right now is that if you're going to repair your system, expect your, da your safe data to be lost, no matter what. They can't do anything about it. The technology just wasn't there until September 2018. And this is what I'm saying in my previous video about DNA, Dina. The reason why Nintendo team up with Dina, yes, to help them do mobile games, but to help them also to do the online infrastructure. You gotta understand, Nintendo, when it comes to online infrastructure, they suck. I don't know what to say. I'm not being a hater. I love Nintendo. It's the truth. They don't know what to do when it comes to online. There was even a quote from the Lady Water during the GameCube era that said, Our fans don't like online. I don't know what it means by there, but it's basically saying the Japanese are not too fun with online. That's why they never prioritize it. At the same time, they're probably just trying to cover themselves by saying, Hey, look, we really don't know how to do more online. And it kind of shows. Remember, with the Wii U, games are attached to a console. It shouldn't be. Sony and Microsoft found a solution. In the beginning, your points card, your Wii U and the 3DS are not even integrated. PlayStation already did it, Microsoft, well, yeah. And then another one, converting your Nintendo points card to real money. Couldn't even do it. Even Nintendo said they couldn't know, they don't know what to do it and it's tough shit. But I know for, I know now lately, some of, some, I think Nintendo of Europe found a solution. But yeah, they're like saying, yeah, it's tough shit, you know. If you have B points, just waste them. 
And that's it. I'm like, wow, that's kind of messed up. And again, like a lot of people do say, whether you like it or not, I grew up with Nintendo, that's why I love video games. But they're also anti-consumer to some extent because a lot of this thing they don't know what to do and they just basically said, yeah, tough shit because, you know, we're Nintendo. But it is what it is. But finally, starting in September, save data, cloud, backup. It's, how come it's not free? Sony is not free. Microsoft is not free. Again, it's same deal with the online. Server costs money. You can't do anything about it. So how the feature they basically revealed, Nintendo Switch Online app. So they're going to improve the app for your phone. Yes, in order to talk to someone, you have to use your cell phone by turning on the Nintendo Switch Online app. A lot of people basically said it's a piece of shit. I'm sorry to say, uh, not my word, you know, I apologize, but that's what a lot of people said. I have not played online. I, the only closest one I played was Splatoon and Mario Kart 8 and I don't do chat but again to some extent they're gonna have to improve it why not just connect with the console I don't know I don't know and then of course special offers no duh Sony Microsoft did it with gold special plus special so doesn't really matter but the last one here, and this is going to reflect also for OG people who bought a Wii and a Wii U and a 3DS. Nintendo Entertainment System Switch Online. So basically, starting in September 2018, if you sign up for this online program, you get to play 20 NES games already with online features and some other new features. So finally, you're playing online games with Nintendo games. Okay, that's that's cool, you know, finally. A little too late, but sure, why not? So, you say, oh, cool, so what does that mean for Virtual Console if they're offering this as an as online subscription? Well, I'll be talking about it later, but the gist of it is, as a lot of people said, some people are sad, some people are like, I don't give a shit, excuse the language. Uh, Nintendo spokesperson said, Currently, they have no plans of pulling Virtual Console on the Switch. So last year, I basically said that about Virtual Console because last year Nintendo did say they were yes, and this is believe it or not when the first the Switch came out. I think and they even did a presentation. One of the questions they asked was, "What about Virtual Console on the Switch?" They said at that some point they say. We will discuss it in the long run, but it is going to be planned. So that's basically the beginning. Like they were thinking about putting Virtual Console on the Switch, but now they're saying no. So I'll explain that later because I want to talk about now the next is pricing. So of course, people already said it, so I'm going to give my thoughts about it. One month, four bucks. Three months, eight bucks. Twelve months, twenty dollars. Kind of cheap. And a family member up to eight member, if you share, it's thirty-five dollars. Good prices, I mean, compared to the other uh, competitive, the competitors. But again, twenty dollars is cheap. Hey, I can afford twenty dollars per year rather than sixty dollars per year. However, is that twenty dollars really worth it? What they're offering right now? Well, they did say that they're gonna reveal more in the long run. So as of right now, it is what this price is. But again. There's E3, there's more on the long run, we'll just have to wait and see. So uh, right now, I think the price is good, but the offer, maybe not, but we have to wait and see. How to get it, easy, same goes with Plus, same goes with Microsoft, either, I think you just need to buy like uh, those uh, eShop cards and then you just put it, or you just pay it, rather than a separate card like they kind of do with Sony and Microsoft, like a gold subscription and a PlayStation Plus subscription. It's probably just you're going to use one right now. That's what they're just saying. Like you can go to the Nintendo.com, eShop, blah, 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 blah. Online. There you go. Alright, so basically there I explain about the online, the prices. Now let's go with the Virtual Console. What do I think about the Virtual Console not being on the Switch? I really don't care. Yes, I do love Virtual Console. Heck, the reason why the Mega Mix Game Showcase channel on my YouTube basically 
started was, well, Cinema Tech, but also Virtual Console game. Basically, showcasing classic games, because without them, you wouldn't have your modern game. So I do love my Virtual Console, but at the same time, how many times you can go buy and play Super Mario Brothers, Mario Brothers 2, Donkey Panic, well, maybe not, Super Mario Brothers 3, The Legend of Zelda, Adventure of Link, etc, etc, etc. I'm also getting tired. The reason I wish they had Virtual Console on the Switch is because I bought a lot of Virtual Console on the Wii and then I bought some on the Wii U and then I'm not double dipping, triple dipping, quadruple dipping on the Switch that's why I just wanted to have a Virtual Console to be able to transfer them uh, into their own category on the Switch but that's not really the case because if you know what, the hap what happened is from the Wii to the Wii U in order to transfer them, you don't really transfer them, you buy, you double dip them, yeah, I'm gonna say dollar, dollar is really nothing, a dollar fifty, two dollars, yeah, it's nothing, it's cheap, I can get that, go to, get some cans, you're probably gonna get a dollar from out of it, I get it, it's the principle that what do you need to double dip and triple dip is the horse buttercock, pop, chicken. You know what I mean. I know. So, basically, I kind of suck in one way that there's no virtual console, so I can't transfer the collection I have from my previous console. But, at the same time, will I be buying a new one? Probably not, because here's a little tip. Believe it or not, yeah, I do have a lot of virtual console games on my Wii U and my 3DS on my Wii. However, thanks to Club Nintendo, I got it for free. Yep. So, that's why... I've, I mean, it just kind of sucks. I can't play it on the Switch, all my collection. I have to pull, pull up the Wii or the Wii U. You know, I mean, Wii U's... It's back as compatible with the Wii. Wii mode, but it's still... But again, you know, it's kind of suck there. So, the the only thing I bought for... Like, sort of close to classic gaming are the... Hamster Arcade Archive Nintendo ones. The one they released, I bought them. Believe it or not, I bought Super Mario Brothers versus Mario Brothers and the Punch Out. Having a blast, but I kind of suck at it. Different story there. All right, all right. So this probably the second half. I'm probably gonna give my thoughts about the virtual console and the history behind it. All right. First of all, during the HD era when the Wii first came out, the reason why virtual console even was introduced was at a time Microsoft have their indie game. They call it the Xbox Arcade games. You know, you got your Contra, Yaris, Aegis Wing, you, you know, smaller games, cheap, you know, quick, fast games, indie. PlayStation had their own version, PSN games, they had Sudoku, Lemming if I remember, and some other ones. What else do they have? I have no idea. Some some other game, but this long time ago. Oh, even Gran Turismo HD. I was free. The game is not really full game, but it was free. Moving on. So what does Nintendo have for an indie game? Well, nothing. So how do you counter that? Virtual console game. That's an introduction to virtual console. What they got from Nintendo. Super Nintendo, the N64. They also team up with Sega because there was no Sega indie games. There was no TurboGrafx, Hudson Soft. Same same deal. They team up with Nintendo to have an actual emulator. Why make it a compilation if you can sell them in visual, make more money? Yeah, it sounds dickish, but it's a business. So they have the upper hand there with the virtual console. That's why there's a home is of virtual console games. But after a while, people were saying. Is Nintendo going to have any indie games? Well, they eventually did by the WiiWare and then of course the DS it had finally its own indie game called DSiWare and now with the 3DS they have a lot of indie games. Wii U actually have indie games. So if you notice why in the Wii U, in the Wii U console there were less Wii U virtual console games versus on the Wii 
It's because a lot of them is legal issue. People are uh, second. Uh, people are actually going to buy this, and it also it's a conflict of interest with their indie gigs. So that's the biggest problem there. Is that yeah, we you did have indie game, but they weren't really selling. There were some crappy ones. And this is before Damon Baker basically entered. He entered when the Switch basically started. So, again, Virtual Console was good on the Wii. Virtual Console on the 3DS wasn't really that good, but people wanted it because, you know, to please the fan. And then now, of course, in the Wii U. But again, like I said, there was too many problems. From the Wii to the Wii U, you had to pay. The reason being is, the architect was so different, the virtual console, believe it or not, the Wii version, the Wii U, are very different, there's an architect. Of course, the Wii U version has the Miiverse integration at one point, so it costs money, so they had to find a balance there. Another horse poppy cock poop is, why can't it be crossed by from the Wii U and the 3DS? Again, why? That's kind of realism in their part. Again, Nintendo screw you for that part. However, I know it's anti consumer. However, again, when it comes to the technology, they didn't know. They didn't know how to do cross buy, believe it or not. And I don't think a lot of people like this cross buy because it's a good deal. But the problem is, again, if you're a company that have lack of lack of knowledge on online features and infrastructure, yeah, it's a problem. That's where they didn't bother, but then they also know the Nintendo fans are, hey, look, you're going to buy this because you grew up with this, so you're going to buy it multiple times. Guilty, I did too. So, yeah, so basically I can understand why they stopped doing it because if they did a virtual console game for the Switch, is it going to be, wow, it's going to cost money, but we can't do this for free. If you want to upgrade to the Switch, are you going to pay? I mean, there was a rumor that they were considering that. So, I guess, to counter that, they say, hey, you know what, you don't have to pay any virtual console game, pay $20 per year, hey, you can play all the classic game you want, but whatever classic game, I have no idea. Okay, so, technically, there you go, but the virtual console, the online feature, I think, so far, it sounds okay for $20 a year, gotta wait and see if they're gonna give more information. I mean, E3, hey, you know, coming close to E3, that's why I'm doing this at pre E3 special. And we'll just have to wait and see until September starts. As for the virtual console history, again, it is what it is. Uh, what can you do about it? So, yeah, that's my thoughts on the online Switch feature, what they can offer, and no virtual console on the, on the Switch. Sad, but it's not in the end of the world. So with that, thanks for listening.